Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will be covering the Daedric War Celebration event, which is live this Thursday on the 20th. So before we get on this though, a huge shout out to my patrons and also my community members could not be doing this without you. You guys are absolutely amazing. So if you want to help me out, well, all that's down in the description below guys. But the best way to do so is with like and sub. So Venture into worlds bizarre and beautiful during the Daedric War celebration event. Uh, this actually was out a few days ago. This is the first time I've caught wind of it. So we're gonna kind of go through with some of the rewards. Um, I did quickly glance through this and guys, you can get transmute stones from this thing. I think this is the first time you've been able to actually get transmute stones. I'm not sure how much you'll be able to get, but um, I'm actually going to grind up this event because there is some pretty cool motifs as well as uh, pets and uh, we'll, uh, I'll show you guys here. So, Worlds of Wonder, uh, the Daedric War Celebration in-game event begins next Thursday of the 20th, uh, like we said. Uh, you have to have uh, Clockwork DLC, Somerset Chapters, and all this available in ESO Plus right now, <clears throat> cash grab. During the celebration period as you explore quests, adventure, you have a chance to receive event-specific Daedric War spoils. Reward box when you complete the following activities. So, uh, f finishing the introductory quest, slaying Delvin World bosses, slaying monsters, opening chests, safe bosses, lootable, Sigigor stuff, yeah, yada yada, the, the normal stuff, closing abysmal geysers. Yo, I haven't been to Somerset in a while. I forgot those geysers were a thing. And you can also farm Mother of Pearl here. If, guys, if you get Mother of Pearl, please send that my way. <laughs> Mother of Pearl is essential in making like the Crindula Krim heroism pots for the magic of Dragonite. So maybe you'll get a lot of these reagents in this event as well. But yes, if you get powdered Mother of Pearl, please hold on to that because those are super, super valuable. So when you earn an, when you earn and open a Daedric War Spoils reward, you will have a chance to receive the following items. So there's a new Everglow Champion weapon style page, which, which I've yet to see. Oh, look, the crown sword is over here. Um, there's a new Gloom Griffin Fledgling pet, which they have a really nice picture on down later. Crafting material styles, uh, overland sets, gold, treasure maps, transmutation crystals. Now, I'm not sure how much you're going to get. I hope it's a lot. I'm not going to give my hopes up way too much for this, but since I pretty much only do PvP and it actually takes away a little bit of my soul every single time I have to do random normal dailies to get transmute stones and PvE. Well, I really hope I can get a metric crap load of these via this system. So um, we'll see. And you probably won't get a lot, but motif changes for styles uh, in Vardenfell, Clockwork City, and Somerset Zones, Snowhawk Mage Armor style pages, Slagtown Driver, Skin Room Box, uh, th Thetties, Thickies, uh, Rosemary's Bait Kit Room Box, and uh, some other stuff. I'm, I'm not sure what all this is, but this is the pet. It's very, very cool. This is the, uh, the Griffin Gloam pet. Um, this is a Dragon Boy pet. I think I don't think we mentioned that one yet. I think this is the... Uh, oh, this is actually a really cool skin, actually. It's kind of like Amber Plasm, but you're, you're scaly. I like that. Uh, even better, each day when you complete the first daily quest in Barnfeld, Clockwork City, or the Somerset, or the Weekly Asylum Sanctorium, or Cloudrest Quest, you receive a glorious Daedric War Spoils reward box instead. These magnificent rewards box have a much greater chance to contain rare event items such as the unique styles for the pets, so be sure to complete your dailies, every, such as the unique styles, or, oh, I thought I said of the pets, oh, okay, never mind. Got my hopes up. Finally, throughout the event period, you'll also receive the following bonus rewards when completing various end zone activities. So you get double non-event reward boxes for daily zone quests and trial quests. So this is time to grind out the trials, boys. I've never really participated in trials myself, but I do need to complete my collection in the uh, the scrapbook. So you may see your boy Horcrux stream some trial events. So I'll, I'll try to put some sets together. I'm not the best at PvE, not gonna lie. Increased rewards from harvest nodes, uh, not including fishing, not including fishing holes or heavy sacks. Come on, man. Lame. World Dell bosses, trial bosses drop an additional loot when defeated. Cool. Um, the Vardenfell, Clockwork City, Public Dungeons, and World bosses have, have a chance. I like how they bold. have a chance to drop a tradable style page for the Doctor and Ordinator outfit style. The final boss in both the Asylum Sanctorium and Halls of Fabrication have a guaranteed chance to drop a tradable style page for the Doctrine Ordinator style outfit. Uh, what? Is this? Okay, this is Scales of Akatosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what this motif is. Uh, to be honest. But, uh, anyway. 
Um, event tickets and rewards uh, during the celebration, you can earn up to up to two event tickets each day by completing the following activities. One ticket for turning in the first Vardenfeld and Clockwork City daily quest, and then the other ticket from turning in your first Somerset daily quest. So it seems pretty simple. This means you can get up to 26 event tickets during this event. Note that you need access to the respective zones, yada yada. Uh, just, just a bunch of stuff here. Throughout the event, the impersonario vendor stocks the following items. All three Soulfire Dragonfire Illusion Pet Fragments. Um, I guess this is the uh, Soul Fire. This thing's really cool. It's like it's got a lot of ambience and uh, particle effects. Including the, the Hallowed Hourglass Basin, Illuminated Dragon Skull, and Kamachi and Incense. The first fragment of the Scales of Akatosh skin, the or Orate Ointing Oils, Everglown Champion Weapon Style Pages, and Gloom Griffin Fledgling Pet, and Root Paracut Crash. Um, yeah, so here's the pet. We already went over that. It's pretty cool. This has been, is your first opportunity to begin collecting a brand new morphing, um, a brand new morphing collectible. The so far Dragon Illusion and the first fragments for this year's morphable event reward. Keep an eye out on future event articles for information on other fragments you need to morph your Soulfire Dragon Illusion pet into the scales of Akatosh skin. Okay, cool. So this bad boy is going to turn into this bad boy. Very cool. Um, kind of sucks this time gated. We can't do that during this event, but uh, it is what it is. Oh, I love this word. Demigods. We, we got some demigod builds out, fellas. So explore or rediscover the Vardenfell, Clockwork City, and Somerset zones, and you'll earn a host of bonus event specific rewards, including brand new collectibles, event tickets, brand tales of conflict, old as a god. So uh, some more junkies here. Um, again, guys, the Daedric Celebration event is this Thursday, January 20th at 10 a.m. EST and runs until Tuesday, February 1st, 10 a.m. EST. So that about covers everything. Kind of sum it up. There's an event going on and double drops for trials in the uh, Bardenfell, Clockwork, and uh, Somerset areas. I believe that's everything. You got some really cool skins to work toward. Uh, a morphable pet that will eventually turn into this skin, which is really, really cool. It reminds me of Amorplasm, one of the best looking sets in the entire game. You got this badass looking griffin. Uh, this thing is really, really cool. We're going to call him Frank, just like we do every other pet. Um, Transmute Stones is the other key point, as, as well as you know, all the other motifs and yada yada, but I'm really interested in how many Transmute Stones you actually get when they drop. I hope it's not like one, right? That would be uh, pretty lame. Five would be cool, ten would be even better, I don't know, fifty would be even better, but... Alright guys, oh look, the crown store. Um, that's been it, just to update you, update you guys on this before I do Pokemon Go Community Day today, and yeah. If you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments and thank you all for being a part of the channel and watching today's video and i'll catch you all in the next one peace